to myself. What a wonderful. All right, so here we are, day nine, starting NaNoWriMo. <laughs> While this is nothing new for me, starting late, trying to rush and catch up. This time feels quite a bit different because I actually fully intend on actually catching up and not just saying I want to. <laughs> and the reason for that is I've got my deadline coming up on Friday where I have to turn in half of my book. So using NaNoWriMo's guidelines, that's about 25,000 words. Yay. <laughs> I'm actually really excited this morning. I planned on turning on the camera and starting to talk to you guys a lot sooner, but I had some breakthroughs happen rather unexpectedly after listening to Dan Brown's masterclass. I'm reading, listening to all the masterclasses on writing, by the way. Video on that coming up once I'm finished where I'm gonna rate them and say which ones I like best, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I'm listening to Dan Brown's right now and he actually, surprised me and that he gave me a lot of really great ideas. Um, that's not a diss on Dan Brown. I just, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know why, but I didn't expect as much from him. But I think the reason that I really am connecting with him is because one of the issues I feel like I'm having with this rewrite is that the suspense isn't quite as high as it needs to be and it's not quite there. Um, and he's a suspense writer, a thriller writer, and so, sorry, I've been on story, like, crafting mode for a couple hours now, and so my mind's a little mushy. I'm trying to find the balance between having a suspenseful book and keeping the page turning while also world building and getting you to know my characters and feel like you're a part of their lives and integrating it that way. Meshing those two ideas together is difficult. <laughs> because I want the slow pace of unraveling a character and falling into their world, but I want the fast pace to keep the tension and the stakes high. So that is where literally I have been at since October. Essentially, I spent most of October reworking what I wanted my story to be. So I've written the first draft. It wasn't the tone that I wanted. It, was too plot focused, not enough character focus. And so with rewrites, I've been trying to integrate more of a character focus. However, with what I worked wrote last month, I felt that the pace was then too slow. And so I'm trying to find that perfect middle ground. I had some breakthroughs. I liked some of what I was doing and I liked the tone I was heading in and the voice that I was finding, but it still wasn't quite I don't know, I kept getting bored with it. I was writing chapter one again, and I keep like stopping halfway because it's like, I'm bored. I'm getting bored, like get to the point. What's the point of all this? Like I'm talking about the town and talking about them going to school and it's, you know, it's nice. Like I think it's a nice read, but it's boring. Like nothing's happening. And even when stuff was about to happen, it was still happening at a much slower pace than what I was doing before. And I wasn't sure like, does it feel so just because I'm writing it and writing it is slower than reading it? Like maybe it would read faster than I'm worried about. But the fact of the matter was the way I was writing it and the pace I was writing it, I was getting bored with it. And you don't want to get bored of a story like three pages in. Cause you know what that is? That's a put the book back on the shelf. That's what that is. And so I kind of got this idea today when I was thinking to myself, okay, it's the first day that I am Got the week off. I'm spending all day gonna focus on writing. This is the day I need to figure out the problem so that I can power ahead and crank out these next 25,000 words. And I realized the really exciting part of my story is a big twist that right now I have planned for the end of the book, or I had planned for the end of the book. And it's like, if that's the most exciting thing that happens, or a hugely exciting thing that happens. What if I put that at the beginning of the book? What if we find out the twist early on? And from there, it become, when I, you know, in my head thought about doing that, I was like, oh my God, this becomes a much more interesting story. It takes my main character from just like a journey of discovery from a distance to more of a self-discovery and he becomes more of the main character versus, I, I can't say too much because it's a huge spoiler, but um, 
I really, as soon as I wrote that, I texted it. So I text my notes to myself. I think I've talked about this before. It's a terrible system because it's very awkward and jilted and but it's what I do. I've always done it. I think I just like the casual nature of like, oh, I've got an idea. I'm going to text myself. I don't even use a notes app. I just text myself. Um, so there's duplicates of everything. But I even texted myself like now after I texted the idea, like in all caps, I wrote, that's a book I can get excited about. And it's true. I feel excited about it. And it's a story I want to know more about myself and I'm ready to write. So the reason I turn this camera right now is because I just finished writing down my new idea and then I was asking myself, okay, so then where does it start? And I think there is a lot of truth. One of my professors once told me, um, or told our class, not just me, <laughs> um, you can't really know how a story starts until you're finished writing the ending. He strongly believes that. He thought, I mean, obviously you start your story and you write it all the way, but once you it's not until you finish that last sentence or right at the end that you can then go back and decide how you want it to begin because then you'll know where this direction of your story is going blah blah i think if you heavily outline maybe you don't have to do that as much but there was a lot of truth to it and i think i do feel that way and so I'll, i've decided you know i'm going to write a little bit of a beginning but i'm not going to keep worrying about it because as you know this is what i've been hung up on for so long um but I think it's true. I think I need to rewrite with my new idea and then once I hit the end, then I'll go back and I can decide if the beginning is what it should be. So yeah, this is how we're starting in NaNoWriMo. I'm really excited. I'm nervous. I think I know how I want to start. I'm actually going to use an old chapter but just rework it um, because I think that will be a quicker starting point. I'm worried it's a little info dumpy for a first chapter. I wanted to start a little bit slower. But that's a change that I can go back in and make um, and see what my thesis advisor says. At this point, I just gotta move forward. I gotta write half this book. So uh, I guess let's get going. And yes, I just showered. So of course I got all my great ideas in there. My goal for today is 5,000 words. I would love to write more than that. Um, my goal every day, by the way, is 5,000. Because if I do 5,000 a day, I will hit 25,000 by the end of Friday. But I don't personally feel 25,000 is going to be the halfway point just based on even the first draft which I still felt was really short but it was like 63,000 I think 62 63 um, I'm an underwriter and so even going on those standards halfway is 30,000 but I would be happy just with 25 so that's my goal is to turn in the first 25,000 words and go from there and then the second half will be due a month after that so i will have a month to try the second half i had a lot longer than a month to write the first half by the way but here we are <laughs> all right let's do this thing i actually feel really excited i feel like that fear though still because i've had moments where i feel excited before and then i go to do it and maybe it's only like a thousand words that i feel inspired and then i stop and but it's like i can't be afraid of fear like i'm fearing fear which is so silly right everyone tells us not to do that so i will stop listening to that voice Is a wrap. <laughs> it's always hard for me to like start talking about my writing after I've been writing because I feel in such a brain fog. Today was a really productive day. I feel really good about the progress I've made and I didn't waste too much time second guessing myself which is good but kind of makes me nervous too that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and be like what have I done? <laughs> This is terrible. I'm a little worried about the pacing as always, but you know what? I'm just gonna go forward right now and just see what my thesis director says. I think that's all I can do because I could spend, and I have spent years <laughs> trying to figure out the absolute magic perfect thing. But at the end of the day, I think I just need more feedback and more people to tell me if they think 
that it's interesting enough to keep reading. It's hard, I think, to have a story that includes a real, as in known in the <laughs> in this world, like I didn't make this legend up legend, because I feel the need to explain it um, for those who don't know, because the legend of the crystal skulls, I feel people have kind of heard that expression before, but not many people know exactly what it entails, and so I want to explain it. I don't want to info dump, but I also don't want to assume that people know what I'm talking about. And I pe want people to fall in love with the magic that is the crystal skull like I did, or just the magic of the story, I should say. I've been trying to figure out how to do that. Like if I start without mentioning it, then I feel like I'm not getting to the point of the story fast enough. If I start mentioning it, I feel it's a little too info dumpy. I just realized my humidifier was cranking the whole time, sorry about that. So I guess that's sort of where I'm hesitating and I'll mention that to my thesis advisor and ask her to let me know if she thinks it's, it's working. Um, and I'm also going to send it to my writing group. I have a writing group from Harvard that I haven't really been submitting to and I think we're all really busy this semester anyway. Um, but I also have a writing group with my best friend Zach and Erin. Uh, not my husband Zach, my friend Zach. They said that they would love to sort of get chapters as I write them, so I might take them up on that. <laughs> but yeah, I ended off doing good. My goal was 5,000, I went over that. And so, day one, a success. Which I don't say that very often. <laughs> Overachieved. That's sad. I'm gonna change that. I will change that. I am changing that. I'm exhausted. Um, final note. Oh, two. So it's currently 129. It just turned AM. So technically it's the 10th. However, I don't like to count anything I wrote in this last hour into tomorrow. I really like to count whatever I wrote before I go to bed as one day. Just because in my mind it's like this is the closing of the day and time is meaningless, so who cares? Because um, I don't want, I don't know, I wrote this today and I want to count the words I wrote now and I also don't want to give myself a boost for tomorrow. So anyway, what I'm saying is I counted it. You know, technically some of it was not on the ninth, but whatever. Okay, I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> well, I'll see. I'll, I'll film them, but you probably won't see me in the morning. Unless I upload this in the morning. I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, bye. I hate to report that it is literally almost 4 o'clock. <laughs> That's insane. Hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy day. It's today the 10th. 10th day of Nina Rymo, which is crazy. I've actually been working so hard this morning, just not on writing. I've been editing my NaNoWriMo video, which will be up now, obviously. Um, I like welcome back to vlogging NaNoWriMo life update video. And I've been doing that all morning. I've been putting a little bit more effort into it than I have in my like Camp NaNoWriMo videos that I just finished uploading, which is so embarrassing, but I like, inside. I can't skip it. I have to upload it. If I film it, I have to upload it. That's a problem I have. It's a problem in writing too, <laughs> but yeah, I just finished uploading those and um, I'm not even done editing the video because I'm having some problems. I form, filmed a bunch of clips on my phone because I, when I moved, I couldn't find my camera for a bit. So some clips are just randomly filmed on my phone and they, the audio is out of sync for some reason. And so I'm trying to fix that. Um, and yeah, it's almost four o'clock and I've been working since probably 11. I I did sleep in because I was up really late last night. But I feel like the whole day is gone. It's getting dark out. I don't know if you can tell, probably not because it looks super bright, but it's getting dark out, the sun's going down and normally I try to go for a walk every day now to get my 10,000 steps and uh, since I'm home all the time, did it finish uploading, yay. But I still haven't finished editing, but I think I'm just gonna stop, pause, go for a walk and then come back to it. I wanted to wait to be done editing the video just because usually when I go for walks, I like to brainstorm my story. And so my plan was I'd edit a video, upload it, go for a walk, brainstorm, come back, right? 
but now I'm gonna have to like brainstorm, come back, scribble down my ideas, finish editing, and then jump into the writing because I want to get these videos up to date, please. Anyway, that's the plan. And somewhere in that time, I've got a shower because it's the day's almost over and I haven't showered yet. <laughs> and Zach's gonna be home in like an hour. And I have nothing to show for it. Well, I have been working hard. I'm on my third cup of coffee, though this one is decaf, so I don't know if that really counts, but I had two full cups of coffee. This is my third decaf, and time is meaningless. All right, let's get going. Quick tangent, I've taken so many videos and um, clips of the beauty that is my new area and going on walks, like nature clips, and I have nowhere really to include them because they just aren't making sense, so if you don't mind, Please enjoy these beautiful clips of my wonderful new surroundings and my new walking path because I just don't know where else to put them and I want to show them. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I'll stop talking and just, you know, insert some lovely transition music here. <laughs> lovely <laughs> okay <laughs> let's get going oh no i woke up the beast i woke up the beast no 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 we don't grab the camera do we that's a naughty kitty move and we're a good kitty oh you're blurry you little cute fish <gasps> oh my goodness you're so cute i gotta go for my walk now okay buddy you wanna go for a little walk is it okay you go back to sleep My cutie patootie baby bully. My baby bully. Oh, you doing some light reading? Learning some elements of style. I noticed you knocked that off my desk. There's no nice. Don't chew on that. Be good boy. Okay, I'm sorry for being a creeper, but I just had to show this. This kid, hey, don't do that, is raking his leaves. Oh, he stopped. No, do it again. He was raking it using a scooter, and it was so funny. this harsh of window lighting only because I look so pale I almost look blue and sickly <laughs> so this window doesn't sit as high as the one in my old bedroom so I have to come down bit of a detour it's actually now the 11th day 11 and the reason for that is last night I started to really not feel well after my walk I had dinner finished editing and didn't feel good um, which normally I know sounds like an excuse but for some reason these days when I don't feel good, I take it kind of seriously. Uh, and so anyway, I went to bed and slept for 10 hours and now I feel better. <laughs> I think I partly didn't feel good because I had way too much pizza for dinner, so. Anyway, we're back, which means because I am not about to, uh, is my clock too loud? 
I love you, Harry, but you tick so loud, and when I edit my videos, you drive me crazy. Okay, here we go. Keep silence. Since I am not about to fall behind or fail my first deadline, that means today we are tackling the impossible, never been done before by me. A 10K writing day. I, I have a lot of feelings about it. But basically, in order to feel more ready, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put on makeup. I am going to tackle this positive and strong. And um, one of the reasons I put on makeup is I also get tired of editing myself <laughs> looking, well, you guys have seen my other videos. <laughs> So we're having a good day today. As I was putting on makeup, as I showed in my clip, I was listening to the Dan Brown masterclass on masterclass and he actually, his masterclass has given me so many ideas. Oh my gosh, like I've listened to the Judy Bloom one. I'm on the Dan Brown one. I'm going to do a whole video talking about what I think of all of the writing masterclass ones and rank them. Um, Cause I have a year subscription. I should say that on masterclass. And I didn't think I would like the Dan Brown one as much, most of all because, or first of all, because he's talking about thrillers, but also because I've read two Dan Brown books and I was pretty lukewarm about them. I read Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code, which I love The Da Vinci Code movie. I mean, hello, oh, I don't have her up yet. Um, that's why I like got into Mona Lisa and everything. Um, but the books, just the way they were written, didn't really vibe with me. But he is like, his masterclass is so good. I'm only on like less than 10 or something, so I'm gonna have to like finish them before I give my official review, but oh my gosh, I'm loving it. Anyway, one of the inspirations I have, it's a big one because I think it's really going to start really tying things together. So my book is about the legend of the crystal skulls and I have the whole, oh my gosh, there was a car that was painted like a cow. I don't know how else to say that without it sounding weirder. Essentially, in my story, I have the very, you know, standard to the legend. They're on an archaeological dig in Peru. They find one of the skulls, or they find a skull, um, which is like typical for how the legends go. Um, and one of the feedbacks I actually got this summer, <laughs> I think I talk about it in my like Camden and Rhinomo workshop videos, was that it was like, someone was like, oh, I've heard this before. And at first I was like, well, yeah, that's the legend. Of course you've heard it before. That's like saying like, you're telling a Christmas story about the birth of Jesus and like he's born in a manger and you're like, oh, I've heard that before. It's like, yeah, that's the story. But he did have a point, um, sort of. I mean, I think if that was like the whole basis of my book was the dig and then finding the skull, yes, that's a, like, I'm not adding anything to the legend. I'm not making it my own, like, what am I doing? Um, but that was just sort of like a catalyst, but I got an idea from Dan Brown, or just sort of, I don't know, I started thinking about it. What if they don't find it in Peru? What if they find it in the town where my book takes place? Like, saying this to you now, you're gonna be like, well, yeah, that sounds pretty obvious. It was not obvious to me until right now. So I'm gonna change it, and I'm really excited about it. I just wanted to share. So it is, I don't even want to say what time it is. I don't even know what time it is. I just unplugged Harry. I think it's like around three. So I'm probably gonna be up very, very, very late if I do my 10K because even if I do 2,000 words an hour, which is insane, that's still five hours. So I guess that's not too late, but I'm sure I'm not gonna do 2,000 an hour because that's like nonstop, don't need time to think. And I'm gonna need a lot of breaks because I don't have all my chapters outlined. So we're gonna have to kind of figure it out as we go. All right, let's stop talking. Let's get a writing. Oh, people can see me. Okay, I'm gonna back away slowly. Okay, let's just walk away. We're at almost 6,000 words, so not too much has gotten done, mostly because I ended up deleting a lot of words. Actually, wait. Okay. So, that's about a thousand. We are 
10% of the way there. My goal is to get to 15,000 today. We'll see if we can do it. I think though, I need to take off my foundation just because, oh my gosh, I'm not used to wearing makeup. And I feel kind of gross. Not gonna lie. So I'll keep my eye makeup on, but I think I'm gonna take my foundation off because it's driving me crazy. Charlie, what are you doing? What's Charlie boy doing? What's he doing? Oh, I see. That's what he's doing. I see. Oh my gosh, and now YouTube is down. This is the universe telling me to get to work. <laughs> so I am trying to work, I'm doing live sprints, um, which was really fun. I've never really done them before. I've done them here and there, but um, I find, especially tonight when I like, just wanna get words done but not feel alone, <laughs> it's been really nice. So is, it, is YouTube back? Are they playing twice? gonna get them back to work. I'm at the point where I still don't know if my opening is working, but I'm just gonna power through <laughs> and get myself to 25,000 words, turn it in, get my thesis feedback, and fix it from there. Hey, my helper, kitty cat. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. I have to laugh. So I had this originally as chapter four. <laughs> I forgot I had done this. This was, oh my gosh, I don't even know when I did this. I wrote, oh God, how do I even write? Okay, so Anna is here searching the house for clues, I guess. Where are my notes? God, I'm so unprepared. <laughs> I just, that was my notes for my outline. <laughs> oh my God. At least I made myself laugh. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> I have to preface that amazing jump though because I had a lot of chapters that um, still can be related. What am I even saying? It is midnight. I had some chapters that I could move over to my current draft, so technically they were already written, but I am desperate to make sure I'm gonna hit my 25K word count, so I wanted to compile them all in my document make sure everything's gonna be there, that I'm gonna have enough to turn in on this Friday. And it looks like I'm gonna be good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Obviously that's still not 25,000, but that is only like a couple chapters in and I just went crazy, you guys. So this is what I've been doing. I can't see, oh my gosh, what am I even doing? I just freaking outlined 11 chapters. Like what? And I feel pretty good about them. I still don't exactly know where everything is going, <laughs> but it's going somewhere. I think I'm gonna go to bed soon just because I don't want to get too carried away and then wake up in the morning and be like, oh, that was really stupid and I should have sat on it a little bit longer and thought about it more. Because as much as I hate to say it, just because it makes me stressed knowing this, but my ideas definitely get better as I marinate on them, which is why my I have way more ideas for this than I did when I first outlined it. I hate saying that because that's an excuse Then I tell myself like, oh, I just need to marinate on it. <laughs> I feel like I should feel more excited than I do. I guess I just know how much I'm going to have to rework the chapters I brought over. The meat of them is still good, but obviously a lot of the details have changed, so I'm going to have to change those. I was going to, though, finish up a couple things in chapter two. And I think maybe that's gonna put me at 20,000, which means I'll have caught up, which is kind of a big deal. I know what you're thinking. Haley, you're cheating. A little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm revising. So obviously some of the words that I'm counting, they're not all gonna be new words. I'm not gonna just add 50,000 to what I currently have. 
um, but they will be reworked and honestly reworking them takes a really long time as I read through each sentence by sentence so I think right now it looks like I have a big jump but probably next week for example I don't know how much the word count will increase um, tomorrow I'm going to be working on just adding more words to obviously to try and get me to 25 I'd love to hit 30 actually because that feels more like a halfway point than 25 does just for this type of book but I'll take what I can get I hope this is good I hope this is a good book I don't know when you're writing it it's so hard to know one thing I did change, I took away something that was supposed to be like a huge mystery of book one from the ending and added it early on, which I think is a good, interesting move. But it does make me think, well then, is the big mystery waiting for the end good enough? Like I know my book's technically not a mystery, but I love mystery books and I feel like I have to have a huge element of mystery in my books. I hope it's enough, but I don't know. I'll have to see as I'm writing it how it feels. Okay, I'm gonna finish up. Part of me wants to write another 1200 words just so I can actually be where I'm supposed to be and be all caught up, but that's a lot. I'll see what I can do. Oh my God, I just realized I am caught up. The 20,000 word mark is for today the 12th, like all of Thursday and not just the 13th or the 11th. Oh my God, I'm caught up. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm still not counting it as like a full victory until it's all reworked, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel so much better. I was starting to panic, but I feel better. <laughs> if I can get everything that's written like through chapter 11 that I've outlined and turn that in, I think, I think it will be pretty good. So maybe tomorrow I'll work on getting through chapter six. I should probably do more than that to be honest with you. Cause I don't want to be freaking five unwritten chapters for Friday. That would be terrible. I'm being weird. Goodbye. Quick update on my phone just because I'm downstairs typing. I had a kind of a frustrating day today. Today is Thursday the 12th. Well, it was before it went after midnight. Now it's the 13th. My due day. <laughs> but I realized one of the reasons that like I feel so, I want to say obsessed with getting it right, getting the tone right, getting the beginning right of when you meet Paul, my main character. And it's, saying it to Zach, it sounds so crazy. I don't think I said it quite like this, but I don't even care so much anymore about what the reader thinks or like what people are gonna think when they read it. That's not what I'm worried about. I care about doing the story justice and not even just the story, but I've gotten to know, this is where it gets crazy, I've gotten to know my characters so well that I like don't want to let them down, which is insane. They're not real, <laughs> but they feel very real. And I guess that's a good sign that I am crafting more complex characters because that was a problem I had in the beginning. And they do feel real. A lot of them feel real. and. Like my main character, Paul, I feel like I'm not doing a good job in the current draft introducing him in a way that people would care. And I was saying this to Zach and I think it was coming across as like, I was worried people weren't going to care and that they wouldn't connect with the story. But it was more, I was worried people weren't going to care and that would make me sad because you should care about him. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I just realized too how much like, I don't want to say he's like me because he's not, um, but I do feel like I put a piece of my soul in him and so I guess I care about him that way so it does feel very personal. I don't know. I just wanted to share my crazy 1.35am thoughts on that.
Charlie's helping me. He won't snuggle with me, but he also has to be in like the room that I'm in. I've noticed lately, especially. Unless I'm in my office, he doesn't sit in my office with me, but mostly because I kick him out. But when I'm upstairs, he has to be upstairs in our bedroom. And if I'm downstairs, he's in whatever room I'm in. And so right now we are in the living room. I guess I should be flattered. But yeah, so I am currently sitting here doing the beginning again, like an insane person. But I mean, not completely. I'm not like doing that. I'm just, I know that the, like so many people say the advice like you should just move on. And I've even said that in these own videos, like I'm just going to power through. And I said that, but it made me like the last couple days I have felt really like not excited about the story. I realize it's because I just don't like the direction that it's going in and the way it started. Like, I'm the type of person I have to really fall in love with the start to, like, drive me forward. I don't even know what I'm saying. Because I don't know if that's even true. But just with this story, I feel like it's true. Like, I, I think when it comes to my writing, and it sucks because it's going to be a huge issue. Because <laughs> it's going to make everything a thousand times longer. But unless I love it, it's not... When I say it's not good enough, I feel like that comes across as like, you need to be okay with it not being perfect. I don't need it to be perfect, but I need it to feel right. And that's what I'm saying. It doesn't feel right. It's very black or white for me. Either something feels right or doesn't feel right. And it just doesn't feel right. And so I can't do it. I just can't because then it's just bad or wrong and I hate it. <laughs> I'm redoing it. Not completely. I'm like shifting things. Pretty much everything I've written at this point I'm keeping. I'm just shifting the order of things so that I can introduce Paul in the way I feel like he should be introduced. And I think this makes way more sense. I'm feeling good about what I've done so far. So hopefully after I do this, finish off this shift, then I can go to bed and wake up and still feel good about it. Because that's always the sign. Do I still feel good about it the next day? Alright, I'm going to call it a night just under 20,000. Which means to hit my 25k goal, I have to write a little under 6,000 words, which is doable. However, a lot of these words I have to rewrite because I've shifted so much. <laughs> Uh, and I have to make sure it all makes sense. Actually, a lot of it I have to rewrite, and a lot of that is chapters skipped. So I like, some of that is like a chapter 9 or a chapter 10. And I want to write everything in between, so I'm probably going to end up having a lot of words tomorrow, to be honest with you. Which is good. But also, of course, this is how it ends, but I feel... Like, I am prepared for a very long day, but I don't feel panicked. I know I can do it as long as I actually, from when I wake up to when I go to bed, actually work. So, long, yes, but doable, and I feel hesitantly really good about what I just wrote. I usually do feel that way after I get an exciting new idea, and it's not until later that I question it. <laughs> but... I like it and I'm actually going to bed feeling really positive and happy. So that's good. Hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep. It's almost 3 a.m. Which means in order to get eight hours, I sleep until 11 a.m. Which doesn't leave me much of the day left before a writing sprint. <laughs> sleep is very important during these times. So I'm going to try and make sure I sleep. <laughs> All right. See you in the morning. Good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon because it is almost one o'clock, but I just woke up about an hour ago, which is the latest I have slept in in, I genuinely don't know. I never sleep in this late. So I guess you could say I feel pretty, or I slept pretty easy about the decisions I made last night, which is good. <laughs> I think this morning for coffee, we'll do our NaNoWriMo. So yeah, just woke up. <laughs> And um, today is a big day, not just because it is Friday the 13th and our live stream, I hope you guys came or if you didn't, you can watch it now posted on my channel, but it's also my deadline. 
which is kind of a big deal. <laughs> Even though I know I have a lot to do, like a crazy amount to do, uh, and I'm probably gonna have the biggest writing day of my entire life today and tonight, and probably into the, you know, Saturday technically, but it's fine. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think because, like I said last night, I really focused on writing things that felt really good and not just what I think I should do and rewriting I don't want to say opening chapter because I really sound like a broken record now but just kind of reworking what part of the chapter I want the first scene to be and I wrote a new scene and I think it's really perfect because it flows so well from what the prologue is which the prologue I think is like done i think it's great i'm a huge fan of that prologue you'll have to pry it some editor will have to pry it from my hands if he wants me to get rid of it or she wants me to get rid of it but that's kind of where i'm at today and i'm looking forward to the rest of the day i think like i said it's gonna be interesting i'm curious how much i'm gonna end up with at the end of the day as long as i at least have 25,000 words i'll feel good about that probably roughly 11 chapters at least is what i have outlined so far if I hit 25,000 and I'm on chapter 10, I might like just be like, I'll write chapter 11 later. Sorry, that's my coffee machine. <laughs> but yeah, 25,000 chapters, oh, chapters, oh, 25,000 words, I think is gonna be really good. So uh, do I actually think that's the halfway point of my book? Heck no, but first of all, how do you judge that if you're kind of like me planting my way through? And uh, second of all, I'm just gonna have to go with the mantra that I feel people want me to say more, which is good enough. <laughs> I will say having this deadline, I've gotten through more progress in my book these last, honestly, few days than I have in like the last couple years. How sad is that? <laughs> that is sad. I mean, I've been doing most of my writing the last couple days, but honestly, I've been planning this and reworking in my mind how it's gonna go. The, this whole book is a whole thing um since october i took preptober pretty seriously as far as prepping i just didn't really show that but now i'm rambling and my coffee's done so i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go for a walk even though it is raining outside but i haven't left this house in a couple days and i'm feeling it and i'm feeling real like bleh. i think we're gonna have my cup of joe probably do some dishes i'm not even gonna show them to you trust me there's a pile and then Go enjoy the nice fall weather while we can even if it's rainy so i probably won't film then just so you know i'm not gonna film outside because i don't want to get my phone or camera wet but trust me i did it i went <laughs> And if anyone's curious, just because I feel like, ooh, spoilers. So many people use so many different things, but I've actually been using Google Docs this draft around. Last time I used, it wasn't even Word, it was that free version. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I'm talking. Which one, baby? Which one? Did you wake up and wonder where I went? I know, you were snuggling all morning, huh? Yeah. I use, let me see. While well, I look it up here, look at my cat. Don't chew that wire. Google boy. Open Docs. I used Open Docs. And now I'm just using Google Docs because it. I started using it when I was working um, on campus because, <laughs> you know, then I could on breaks and during lunch break and after work before class work on my assignments because uh, it was all just online. So I really like that. Plus it's a huge peace of mind knowing that everything is just automatically always backed up. So that's great because I've heard horror stories as I'm sure you have as well. By the way, these are fake chapter names. <laughs> I'll talk about that in a second. But so yeah, I've like figured out finally, like not that I ever really looked into it, but I figured out how to make like an outline. So that way when you are writing, you can just like click this for instance and it jumps right to it. Because I just, when I had one big doc, what I didn't like was that um, you couldn't, like it took forever to scroll, but by implementing this better, see this is a chapter that needs to be written, <laughs> you can just jump around, which is really cool. So I like that. Okay, so let me know what you guys are using. I think I would really like Scrivener. I have tried it before. I actually tried it when I won Camp NaNoWriMo, uh, I don't know when it was, a couple years ago, I think. 
and I got like a free trial or something like that. And that was really like, I really liked it, but it was, it was one of those things I knew I was gonna have to sit down and learn. And I just didn't feel like it at the time. Um, so right now I'm using Google Docs. I might one day use Scrivener just because it has way more features than Google Docs does obviously. But for now, Google Docs works very good for me. Yeah, so about the chapter things, I think I talked about this maybe in one of my midnight musings. I can't remember, but one of the like lessons we had during my workshop over the summer, and it's such a random thing, but it was like ways to try and kind of like, um, what, what was the topic about? I can't really remember, but it was like a trick to like make sure, oh, it was about chapters, duh. <laughs> and it was a trick to try and like help focus your chapter more. So that way, like each chapter is more tight and has its proper, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It has a focus. And so one of the tricks was to like write a really descriptive chapter name. So that way, like it's just a reminder while you're writing the chapter of what happens during this chapter and the arc you want it to go in and so i kind of started doing that but i actually think it's really fun i might end up keeping some of it some of them i definitely won't keep like chapter is called just a school project and guess what it's a school project and then the third chapter i totally stole from the finale of roseanne which was one of my favorite shows growing up uh and it's into that good night which i actually think is the title of a poem to be honest with you i don't think like they made it up let me look it up. Oh, it's not the title of a poem. It's part of the title of a poem by Dylan Thomas. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I could do a theme where like each chapter is like a poem or something. I don't know, I'll have fun with it. But for now, it actually is super helpful. And it's like a way for me to casually just kind of start writing or have an idea of what I wanna write without like any sort of pressure of permanence. Um, because in my mind it's like oh, I'm just gonna delete it, but it's just fun like I've had like really goofy ones before I don't know I could do one like one of my characters name is Jess like Jess is an idiot or something. I don't know <laughs> So yeah, and then that into that good night inspired like chapter one I wrote into that first day which But yeah, I'm gonna finish my coffee go for a walk even though it's downpouring. It's not really downpouring. It's more sprinkling and get into Writing again and then probably around five, I will get ready for our live stream. I kind of feel bad I didn't put out a video announcing the live stream before it's gonna happen, but, and I feel really bad. Kate Cavanaugh is also having a live stream at this time. I tried to look for people who I thought might be possibly doing a live stream. I noticed Brooke is having one at eight tonight and Kate is having one at seven with somebody. And so I just, I tried to avoid it, but I didn't see that one in time. So I'm sorry, Kate. Um, Lessons for next time to plan more in advance. <laughs> it's my pretty girl. Come here, pretty girl. It's a rare moment when me and Kim can chill without the beast. And I apologize for the absolute mess of our living room. But, uh, <laughs> you want to know how much time I've spent cleaning this week? Goose egg. <laughs> Final thing before I go on my walk. So as I've mentioned, I've been listening to a lot of the master class writing classes on Masterclass, and it's been really fun. And um, right now I'm listening to Dan Brown's and he actually had a really great piece of advice that I started implementing right away that I didn't do with my first draft, but I think is gonna be like, I'm gonna forever do this with every book. But he, one of the things he talked about was how it was really important to answer every question that you put in your book. And that sounds really obvious, but so what I did, and he kind of talked about how he does this too, is in my notes section, I wrote in all caps and bold questions to be answered. And every time I like hint at something or have something be like a mystery, for example, um, this is a really small example, but my character Paul was texting somebody in a scene and we don't know who he was texting yet. And so I just wrote, who was Paul texting on the first day of school? And so then like I tab down and like add a little note and I write the answer to it. So that way I make sure as I'm writing, like if I'm drafting, like as I answer these questions, I'm gonna delete them. Um, and then that way I don't forget to close any circle of information. So I really like to include a lot of like mystery in my books. I'm a huge, like I read mostly mystery. Like I know one day I should write a mystery book, but 
I just feel like they're so hard and I just, my passion for them is so strong. I almost want to keep them this thing that I only enjoy and that I don't struggle through myself with. But so, because I read so much mystery, I feel like I can't help myself including a lot of mystery in my books. Um, and so I like to leave a lot of things like, hmm. Uh, and anyway, so this is definitely going to be super helpful to me. And you don't have to use it for super mysterious things, but like, you know, there's a scene where one of the characters doesn't do what you would expect him to do. And so I wrote like, why didn't so-and-so do this? And then I wrote the answer that I will have to make sure to remember to answer later. Um, yeah, so I just thought I would share it because I think that's a really great practical tip and that way you never worry as you're writing that you're gonna forget that you did this one little thing. Um, and it's a good way when you get to the end that you make sure everything is closed very nicely. And of course, if you're writing a sequel and you want some things to be open, at least it will be purposeful then. Or if you want some things to be more open-ended and open to interpretation, at least the idea is that it will all be purposeful. <laughs> And we're live streaming. This is so weird to do when people are listening. I cannot do this. <laughs> we're live streaming. I don't know if you can see. But if you're watching this, that means you missed our live stream. That sucks. Wait, did he? <laughs> but I'm about to... They cannot hear you, Zach, because I have headphones in. But thank you. Um... <laughs> But I'm about to hit 20,000 words. Zach said, hello, future. Are you happy? <laughs> I mentioned it. <laughs> and Cameron's in the background. I'm about to hit 20,000 words. Very exciting night. That means only 5,000 more words to go tonight, which I know sounds like a lot. It is a lot, but that's fine because we're just gonna drink coffee and everything's gonna be fine. Woohoo! And there they are. By the way, husband Zach, where's my coffee at? Love you. Look at my baby. Oh, she's camera shy. My two babies are up here. Aww. Charlie, you be a good boy. Mm, he's gonna do something bad. Yeah, he is. I can tell. Thanks for watching my live stream, honey. Yeah, and for all of those who weren't able to tune in, you can still watch it on my channel if you go to videos and then do past live streams in the little upload tab. If you're on a PC, I think if you're on your phone on the app, it just shows right up, but I don't know. All right, and our live stream is done. Whew, the wine is slowly starting to wear off. <laughs> Drinking a whole glass of wine tonight probably was a mistake, <laughs> but I had a lot of fun with the live stream. I think we decided we want to do more of them, so be on the lookout. I don't know if we'll have like a set schedule or we'll just figure out what days works best for us as they come, but. Yeah, so now I'm just sitting here. I'm watching Brooke's live stream. I know she does a bunch of them too, and I love her live stream. So I I feel like last year, the year before, whew, just walked up the stairs, I'm out of breath. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> um, I used to not like live streams or sprints, but I think I didn't give them a fair chance because they definitely take me a little bit to get into. Like the first one, I'm always way too distracted. But then as I get going, I find that I am much more focused which is great. So I think I'm just gonna stick with hers until she's done, maybe see if there's another one going on after that. But after that, we have a late night head. We're pulling, pulling, pulling an all-nighter. Basically, I have every intention of having to stay up late all night. Um, I feel so focused today, but um, today, it's already 9.30. Tonight, uh, it's 9.30 right now, I think, Hopefully, if I'm super focused, I could be done as early as 3 a.m. <laughs> so early. <laughs> but um, I think we have a long night ahead of us because I still have a lot of chapters that only have an outline that are not written, which I still could turn in, but I do want to turn in. I'd prefer not to have any gaps in my story. I'd rather have the full chapters written out without like a missing chapter somewhere just so that she can give better structural feedback. All right. Brooke's about to start again. I'm about to get listening to her again and um, let's head into this good night. <laughs> into that good night. Oh, it all comes full circle. <laughs> all right, you guys. Chapter one and two are officially complete and 
Chapter three was an old chapter that I'm just gonna read through to make sure that it still works, which for the most part, actually, I think it still will, which is very exciting. And to give you a little rundown, I forgot Charlie's here with me. Look at that little foot. He will not go up to bed. He has to be down here with me, I guess, again. Except he was trying to eat my notebook earlier, so. Um, TV rundown, so chapter four is mostly done. Chapter five, mostly done. Again, I just have to go through it. Chapter six, chapter six, I have to write. That will be a new chapter. Chapter seven is done, just have to fix it. Chapter eight, I have to write. Nine, I have to write. 10, I have to write. And 11, majorly fix. Oh my gosh. I might just do a couple chapters more and just see where that puts me. Just because I do want to have something to turn in. And I think even if I do have more outlined, I would rather turn in 25,000 and then go to bed. <laughs> I also don't want to rush it. I want to turn in she says writing it last minute i want to turn in like the words i'm writing now i want to be critiqued and graded on so i don't want them to just be garbage because that's not going to serve me any purpose just finished chapter five so i've essentially written six chapters tonight finished six chapters and i figure i have three more to go until the end of act one. I don't have my story actually in acts, but if I had to, it would be the end of act one. I think that is where I'll call it. So I guess I'll try and bang out three more chapters. They're probably gonna be a little short, <laughs> which is fine. I don't like longer chapters personally anyway. So there you go. I can always fluff them up in revisions, I guess. My butt is so sore. Holy crap. All right. It is 4.30, got another hour and a half to go before my 6 a.m. deadline I'd set for myself, even though it doesn't really matter, but yeah, let's try and finish it off. All right, it is 6 a.m. <laughs> I knew I was gonna stay up this late. And I just finished chapter seven, so I'm on chapter eight, and I'm trying to decide so chapter 12 is written, eight through 11 in between are not, they just have bullet points. Um, and some of them have text that I've transferred over, but the chapter itself isn't complete. I'm trying to decide if it's better to just submit like what I have written through. So like just up to chapter eight or submit everything I have so that I can get feedback also on chapter 12, even though it won't make much sense because there's a bunch of chapters missing in between. I think I'll probably just submit everything I have. I feel bad doing that, but like, there's no way I can write four chapters right now. I do not have it in me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through the outline, try and see if it makes sense, I guess. Submit what I have and hope for the best. And that is half she wrote it is now 7 23 a.m it's officially the next day i officially pulled an all-nighter which was exciting i actually feel wide awake right now of course i'll try to fall asleep but it's gonna be interesting i didn't quite get as much done as i wanted i tried to finish chapter 12 rework chapter 12 which was a really long chapter it was like 20 30 pages in a way that made sense but I realized it was just, I didn't love the writing. The characters were so different from how they ended up being. And so I'm reading the dialogue and I was like, Paul would never say this or Jess would never do that. And it's just like, oh, I'm literally just like going line by line, fixing everything. And what is the point when I can just rewrite it how I have been rewriting it and enjoying that much more. So I took it out, which means my word count went way down. Charlie's been up with me most of the time, which means he's also going to be crashing soon. And I found that I enjoyed eating an apple as a writing snack. That does make your fingers sticky. 
I'm going to go to bed. I hope you've enjoyed watching me officially catch up on NaNoWriMo. I think I only have like a thousand more words to do. Well, actually I don't know because I ended up deleting a lot. I don't even know what my final word count is. I'll just show you what I have really quick to sign off. It's funny, I like got really tired around 3 a.m. and then like 5 a.m. hit and I was wide awake. And that's how I feel right now, just wide awake. Yeah, right now with the deletes I did, I'm at 22,100 and 66 so i will update that which means it's going to go back down but we want to be honest here's a final look at my graph what well, let's you can see that and there we go this is the last week see folks catching up is possible believe in yourself yeah i basically did over 20,000 words in like so five days that's insane wow that is the most i've ever written i didn't have my highest word count day ever all right i'm closing this bad boy off and going to lie in bed and see if i fall asleep i don't know if i will <laughs> we will see what happens bye everybody and i will see you in next week's video To myself, what a wonderful world.